YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tips here, and today we're going to be breaking down how I turned this into this. If you guys want to go follow along on this tutorial, you guys want to go cop the pack linked in the description below. It's our 3D hearts pack, guys. And if you guys want to get yourself 10% off, use code tutorial. All right, guys, so we are in Premiere Pro here. We have our three clips pulled up. And once you download the folder, you guys are going to have something looking just like this, Tiny Tapes 3D hearts. You're going to double click on that and drag it to where you want it to. So once you're done doing that, we're going to open it right up. You're going to be brought to four different files. And what we're actually going to do to make this easier, guys, is we're going to go into our Premiere Pro and open them in there. Once the folder's in here, we're just going to open it up and like i said four different files you guys are going to have the floating the raining the transitions and the vortex i'm going to go over to the vortex for now and we are going to go over to vortex 5 i really like the way this one looks go through and hover through them now the way they're going to work is you can drag and drop them on any timeline in any editing software and they're going to have a transparent background you guys are going to have to green screen any of this out it's just going to be transparent just like so so i'm going to drag and drop this one in here and now they're all 4k and 60 frames per second guys so if you ever want to slow them down to 50 percent you guys can do that or if let's say you're speed ramping and you want to match the 3d to your speed ramp you guys can go ahead and do that it, they're super customizable we're going to go over to our effect controls here guys and this is a 1080p timeline and like i said these are 4k so you guys can adjust them to the size i'm just going to adjust the tech here so we're going to go to the very beginning keyframe position scale and rotation and i'm going to rotate it to match him there and we're going to go through on our own using our arrow keys and keyframe it so it zooms in a little bit there holding control i'm going to zoom in a tiny bit while playing with the motion and we're going to keep on going through and now he comes out a little bit there we're going to scale out a bit and play with the motion there maybe not that much and then a little bit more here and then i'm going to cut that at the end right there and we'll play that through for you guys and boom just like that the hearts are going around tekka it is looking crazy guys this pack is the absolute sauce now to make this look a little bit better guys we're going to go back into the vortex pack and this one right here the heart vortex three we're going to go and drop that on top there and cut it to fit now as you guys can see without it it's just kind of the hearts going around him but we want to have hearts that are closer to the camera just like this and there's a little bit too many of them for my liking so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in just so we kind of get them going past there pretty big and then we're going to go over to effects and we're going to apply a blur i like the way gaussian blur looks in premiere pro if i was in after effects i'd be using camera lens blur and we're going to make that blurred just like that to give it that camera depth and then we're going to copy and paste the blur onto this one but we're not going to blur it that much on this footage we're going to bring it to about 12 just to give it a little bit of edge there cool and now, if you guys want them to glow, we can go over to effects. I recommend adding sapphire glow, guys. But if you guys don't have sapphire, VR glow works as well. And boom, I love the way that looks there. And now to transition into the next scene, we're going to go back into our 3D hearts. We're going to go over to transitions. And this one right here, the heart flying across the screen. We're going to drag and drop that there and adjust it. And boom, just like that, we have a nice transition. I'm going to paste the blur on there as well. And we're actually going to crank it up for this one since it's really, really close to the camera. Cool. And now for this next one here, we're going to go back into our pack. And I really like the way the floating ones look. So let's go with this one here floating up. And we're going to go down here and find a part that we really like. Once again, 1080p timeline, 4K footage. We can scale it down to 50% to match. And I really like from here to about till that one comes in. Let's see how this looks. Now that is really fast. Once again, like I said, scale it down. We can change the speed and make it 50% slower because there's 60 frames per second. And let's see how that looks. Now I want to kind of have that really big heart come from the bottom. And if you're in Premiere Pro and you ever get this kind of like lag look, just ignore it. That won't be there when you render. And then we're going to go back to the other one. We're going to press Control C, click on our new one, Control Alt B. We're going to copy and paste the blur and the glow on. And I think we can add a little bit more blur to this one because the camera is focused on Tekka. So that means these should be really out of focus. We're going to go back here and just play with this a little bit more. All right, I think I like this point a little bit better. We're going to change that to there and then play it through for you guys. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And once again, you guys can customize these as much as you guys want. If your video isn't really in the theme of red to see how the trees are pink in this video, what we can do is we can go into effects, type in HLS color, color balance HLS, drag and drop that on, go into effect controls, and then going to the hue here, we can change it to whatever color we want. So let's go back and try and match it to this pink, turn down the saturation a bit, and then boom, guys, we have that pink there looking really really good. We can even copy and paste that onto here if you guys want. So you guys can really customize these and make them look insane. And we can crank up the glow on these. So you guys, like I'm saying, this is a super customizable pack. We're going to go into transitions and then we have a transition that goes up to match that. Looking good. Control C, paste everything on here onto there. 
And then for this last one here, we can go back to our floating hearts, but let's do the more zoomed out one, make that 50% scale, crop that about there. And let's see how these look. And I'm going to slow these ones down 50% looking good there. And then since they're 4k, we can play with that a little bit. And now just some quick tips. If you guys want to have it to match your footage a little bit better, going into effects, we can put on lumetri color and then we can throw on tint. And now if you really want it to blend your footage and you want to put a lot of time into it, go into basic correction. We're going to turn off tint for now, but playing with the temperature, making it more orange or more green will help it match your footage more. The contrast will really help. If you guys are putting it underneath your LUT, I recommend turning the contrast all the way down. The saturation to about 50 and then the highlights. Play with those to your liking. Maybe turn them up because if you put a LUT on top of that on top of your S-Log footage, um, you can match these really easily to your S-Log footage. And then playing with the tint, if there's a certain color you want to go for, like let's say these hearts here, clicking on the black, clicking on the darkest part of it and then the brightest part of it and then the amount of tint playing with that. You guys can really get some cool looks if you mix that with your lumetri color but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial once again if you guys want to go cop the pack it will be linked in the description below your guys' support means the world to me and thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video i recommend checking out our last video alongside a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials i know you guys will mess with thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one